Hey everybody, glad you're here. Today we're going to talk about how to play an arpeggio or how to use an arpeggio on bass. Coming up. great that you all are here we're going to talk about how to play an arpeggio and by the way if you don't know me by now I'm Donald Witt the bass instructor for the online course I want to play bass.com and if you subscribe down below here I've got lots of these little tips that come out and everything about um, bass playing bass playing tips and stuff like that little short lessons but if you want to get serious about it sign up for I want to play bass.com Check it out. You can subscribe there as well and become a free member. But And then when you really want to upgrade, go to full access members. Up, very affordable, without a doubt. But check it out. I want to play bass.com. But for now, we're going to talk about how to play arpeggios or what an arpeggio is. And um, an arpeggio is just the outline of a chord. If you see a... I'm going to do everything in G today. So <coughs> it's just right here. So if you see see a G major chord, a G, it's just going to be G, B, and D. And the, an arpeggio to a G major chord is just outlining those notes of the, the essential notes of that chord. And that is the G, B, and D is what you'll find in a G major chord. So that's a G triad there, G. G major chord arpeggiated right there. And you'll see, you can use that in, you see a 1, 4, 5 chord progression. So it'll be a G, C, and D, 1, 4, 5. And then if you see a G major, it'll be... Then you see the 4 come up, you just go... It'll be a C major. And then the 5... Another way to do that, you can just see that that chord progression. You know, you're in the key of G. You can play over the, you can just play the G major scale. But what works even better is to arpeggiate each chord as they go by. <clears throat> like I said, the G, you see a G major, C major seven, and or just a G major, C seven, C major, and D major. You can know. That's just your G major. That's just your major arpeggios, and every major, just a major arpeggio, is going to be that the first, third, and the fifth. So it's always going to be that that pattern there. Or let me take you to the fifth string, the G up here. Um, it's going to be to your, I mean, your bottom string, second. That's just the major intervals. Now you've got uh, a major arpeggio. Now we have the, you'll see a minor. If you ever see a, a G minor, you'll know this is going to be, it's going to be your root is G, and then the minor, the minor third, then it's another, it's a major third interval to the fifth. So that's.
that's your that's your arpeggio right there. I'm gonna use the open D string. Or if we go back to this G up here, here's gonna be the same same as the last one, but instead of that major third interval, that third finger, you're gonna use your second finger and make a minor third interval. As you get a little more involved and things are going going good you can you'll see a G major 7 arpeggio and that just means we're adding the seventh we've got the first the third the fifth and the seventh so that's a G major 7 arpeggio It's, that'll, it'll always be that way with any major seven. That'll be your arpeggio. If you move it up here, this pattern will be here. Whoops. That's it right there. This will be the pattern up here. thirds you've got in a G major seven chord you'll have a major third interval a minor third interval and a major third interval that's what makes it a a major it's still got a minor third interval in there it just gives it a little color but that's that's the makeup of it that's still a major major seven chord right there so that's your G that's your major seven arpeggio minor 7 arpeggio you'll see we'll say G minor 7 you'll see the G you'll see a minor third a major third jump and then another minor third jump to the minor 7 we'll move it up here to this pattern Minor seventh, now major seventh, and now another chord you'll see in like jazz will be a dominant seventh chord. And what makes it interesting is will be is the is the makeup of it. So like a um, if you saw a G seven, you're gonna know it's a major third interval, a minor third interval, and another minor. seven so that that'll be here so that's so we can do a a two five one chord progression just I'll do the just the arpeggio
that's that's how to arpeggio and arpeggiate major chords, major seventh chords, um, and that's what an arpeggio is. Just the outlining of that chord, the notes of that chord, you're outlining. That's all it is. That's all an arpeggio is. Now next, I've got a neat little exercise that I use using these arpeggios in a in any key and I, it's just like a warm-up exercise I, I usually do it before a gig or any kind of just a warm-up exercise is all it is and I usually take so I'll take the major scale and run it up up an entire octave up to the G we'll take a G major 7 and then we'll arpeggiate it so the first arpeggio is a G major 7 Second's a minor seven. The third's a minor seven. The fourth is a major seven. The fifth is a, and then we jump. We do. We start moving up the neck here. The fifth is a dominant seven. So we do that little position. Then the sixth is a minor seven. Go G on E. And the seventh is interesting. It's a diminished seven. exercise there to warm up on. Use a metronome, take it slow, just want every note crisp and clear. said check it out i want to play bass.com and subscribe down below here as well and comment if you got any questions or you got any ideas what you want coming up next i know i'm going to bring out a video some videos of some most definitely needed to know bass lines of popular music out there today so again i'm donald witt i want to play bass.com thank you all look forward to hearing from you